In a few days, on September 20th, Mahmoud Abbas will ask the Assembly of the United Nations to officially recognize the Palestinian state. Europe is divided, the United States are opposed, but over two-thirds of the 192 countries represented at the UN headquarters in New York are ready to vote in favor. But what are the expectations of the Palestinians and Palestinian Christians? And what could change if the approval takes place? People hope to receive good news that certainly would make all Palestinians happy, including Christians, says Bernard Sabella, a Catholic professor of sociology at Bethlehem University and a member of the Middle East Council of Churches. But nothing will change in reality, except perhaps the image of Palestine that would be officially recognized in many UN institutions, such as the Court of Human Rights. But on a daily basis, all the questions on which we must still continue to negotiate will remain, such as the settlements, the return of refugees, water resources, borders, security, the issue of Jerusalem. Even if we become a UN member state, we will have to continue to negotiate all these things. But will Palestine be ready for a real autonomy? Yes, according to Dr. Sabella, because it already has infrastructures and services for its citizens that were implemented with great effort in the past two years. We have all the ministries and many people wonder at what the Palestinian citizen can already do via the Internet. We have everything ready to become a modern state. On the potential of the Palestinians, the citizen of Bethlehem echoes him. This people is strong, he says. We will not have any problems, especially here in Bethlehem, where we live well from tourism. Just give us a chance and I'm sure these people will succeed. We are living in Bethlehem city. We will not face anything. There are a few extra flags these days along the streets of Palestinian cities, but not any particular involvement of the people towards the fateful date of September 20th. Rather, some concerns regarding any implications that could further penalize the population living on this side of the wall. I hope that beyond all that could happen, some Israeli politicians and members of Congress of the United States can really choose the path of wisdom, because I'm afraid that if you start to impose punishments or closures or cancel agreements already made, this will have a negative impact to the detriment of peace and of all those Palestinians who believe that negotiations are the only way to bring this difficult conflict to an end. I say that the request of Palestine to be a UN member state is a right and not a crime. If some Israelis look to our petition as an action against Israel, this could lead to fundamentalism. But it is not a step against Israel and only a Palestinian cry. And if you don't look at it in a negative way, it will be a step towards a better future for both Israelis and Palestinians. A future in which a Palestinian state lives in peace and security next to the Israeli state. We just want to find a solution that will make us dream of a future without the cycle of reciprocal violence and without war. يمكننا من النظر للمستقبل ليس بدوامة العنف والعنف المتبادل وليس بمنطلق الحرب. No matter how the events unfold, the role of the Palestinian Christians in the Holy Land, who live among both sides, will continue to be precious and indispensable. أن هناك أيضا مسيحيين يعيشون في إسرائيل. We must not forget that there are Christians living in Israel, and the Christian, whether he is living in Palestine or Israel, has the duty to work for peace. The Christian cannot be detached from the concerns of his people and his society. Today there are social and economic problems in Israel, where thousands of people are manifesting. The Palestinian Christian who lives in Nazareth or Haifa makes these concerns his own. He shares these problems because the economic situation is difficult. Likewise, the Christian who lives in Jerusalem, in Ramallah, in Bethlehem, in Zababde, or elsewhere, says, I am a son of this country, and like everyone, I want a society and a future that is safe. And so we must see in this step of going to the UN a way of promoting peace, a step forward and not a step back, and even less an act of war. The Palestinian Christians, like all Palestinians, want to come to the end of the conflict, but not at all costs. We want our rights to be recognized, officially.